think a lot of times we need to reframe the conversation and the dialogue to say, what is our responsibility in making society a better place? And how are we going to live up to this idea of where the generation change in the world, right? And a lot of times changing, creating change is a lot, has to do with a lot of personal sacrifice. So um, since you're in campaign school, I guess I'll talk to you a little bit about the campaign. <laughs> um, I never realized how hard it was going to be. It was the hardest thing I've probably ever gone through. Um, I, I, for me, one of the hardest parts was raising money. I, I didn't come from a family that, not, that had any money, that I wasn't going to ask my family for any money. You know, I, I'm a list of 11, there's five of us in college, my mom's to have kids in college for 28 years, how do you go to your mom and say, mom, by the way, I have a $130,000 campaign, you want to lend me $10? Like, that wasn't the reality, so I had to really make sure that I had outside forces that were helping me. And um, one of the organizations that really helped was Annie's List, and Annie's List is an organization that brings together 23,000 women and their money to help 10 women candidates. They're selective, they pick these 10 women and say, we're gonna make sure these women win. Um, and it's that coalition, it's that community. Um, it was a lot of the communities that I existed, young people, LGBT, women, um, Latino, Latina, like all these communities came together to, make, to help me get to where um, we are today. Um, the, yes, sir? What is your district? Yeah, what is it typically vote? Democrat. It's a Democratic district. I don't have a Republican opponent. That's why I'm state rep elect. Okay. Um, but it's always been a conservative um, conservative Democrat district. So, okay. so a lot of people come in here and tell us, you know, redistricting and everything's gerrymandered for Republicans. So. Well, I mean, in El Paso, I mean, El Paso is a pretty Democratic city anyway. So, um, my district what was changed. I lost. I lost eight precincts, gained one, but it. In, in El Paso, it was pretty much always going to be Democrat, no matter how you cut the lines. Um, but again, while it was a Democratic seat, there were still ideological issues that came up, right? Um, me being a woman, me being progressive, me being young, those were still, and you would naturally see those issues in the general. You wouldn't predict to see them in a Democratic primary, but still things that we had to deal with in a Democratic primary. Um, no, I know, but I was going to say something else. That was, 